Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a get ready with me because I realized that I haven't done a, done a recent one with you guys. I did it on TikTok. But I'm just going to show you what I used to prep. Um, I decided to go with the Mario Badescu facial spray. The green, um, I mean the cucumber and green tea. Then I went with this water. The Evian. And then I went with this moisturizer from Neutrogena. And the primer I used was this one from NYX, Plump Right Back. I I just put a little too much. That's the only thing. You don't need a lot of product with this. But I accidentally put too much. But it's okay. And um, I think I might go with... Because uh, I was in between going with my Fenty Beauty or going with... Um, this Juvia's, but I think I'm gonna go with Juvia's because I've had this for like I think over a year and I don't know if it expired, so I kind of want to use it up. And my kids did not go to school today because they are under the weather. So, at least it's Friday. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is the pump, but it smells so good. Should I get it on myself? I can't tell if it's coming on me. I don't know if it's going. Um, oh my gosh, this shirt is a crop shirt. And it's kind of it looks like the ones that I have that are sets, but this one's not a set. It was nine dollars on Amazon. I mean not uh, Ross. And then um Burlington had really good pants and sweats for super cheap. Like I literally got some jeans so nice for like eight dollars. And then these really pretty sweats for nine dollars like i scored guys like i did not know how um uh, burlington had really good prices for jeans and sweats and all that stuff so i think that's gonna be my new favorite store now for jeans and sweats um yeah i hope you guys have a good weekend so sad because I'm not gonna be watching my niece anymore like I don't know and I mean I'm still watching her right now but pretty soon I'm gonna not be watching her anymore so I'm a little sad and bummed but it's okay I was blessed to be uh, to having her here because it helped me so much because of you know um kids their school super close so i would take them to school whatever so usually it was just me because i used to work at a daycare but as you know i don't work at the daycare no more so i was watching my niece since i was like my job so now it's gonna be so weird not having her but a few more months and we have summer so i'll have my kids like full time well, i mean they live with me but like you know what I mean, like, so I'm going to have to take them to school. And my little one, he's going to have a birthday soon, so we're going to get another kitten. So Chase, our cat, will have someone to play with. Because my brother said that usually cats, they need another cat, so they're not depressed or sad, you know. So I hope he gets along with the new kitty we get. We're going to adopt another one at the same place. So we're, we're either going to go this weekend or next weekend. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, my sister, it's almost going to be three weeks since she did my lashes and they're still pretty good. What about Ice Jerry? Did Jerry log, on, log in? Okay, so I'm using the e.l.f. concealer. 
in the shade um, Fair Warm, and it's a very bright color. But I'm starting to like like the bright look again. So that's why I use the lighter color because usually my foundations they kind of oxidize or they get super dark, and you can't really see it on my phone, but in person you can. So I don't like to look too like dull, dull, dull. I think that's how you say too dull. So I just like like the like the look of being awake and being brightened, you know. And sorry if my phone is washing me out. Let me change the settings, maybe a little darker. Maybe that's better. Hold on, guys. Or like that? Do you think that's better? Let me know, guys. If you like this warmer, warmer, warmer. Or like brighter. Oops. I think warmer, right? So for the now I'm gonna leave it like that and just let me know if you like the warmer or like the brighter. Um let me see if I can go a little brighter. Like that. Just let me know. Not the best, but at least it's better than being extremely dark. I could have done my makeup in the living room, but my kids are playing right now, so I thought I'll just do it in my room. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with uh, my makeup by Mario, and it's like almost gone. That's how much I have left, but it lasted me a long time. I like this little bag my mom gave me because all my makeup fits in here. Well, not all my makeup, but the makeup that I use daily fits in there. If he needs help, help him, okay? I gotta see here because maybe it's a little too bright. I can see it. Yeah, I got this little, I think I already told you guys, this little um selfie light and it was like twenty dollars on amazon and it seems to work pretty good like especially for tiktoks and stuff like that and look how much i have left literally like it's done from rare beauty and give me a not give me sun <laughs> always sunny look how much i have left it's such a good warm shade so it's coming to an end <clears throat> this one's so much easier to blend because the makeup by mario is so like dry like the formula is super dry so that one's a little harder to blend but this one's so creamy that it blends so easily so i would choose the rare beauty over the mario because it's so much easier to blend and this shade is so pretty because it's like a warm shade you know and the, the mario the makeup of mario is more of a contouring stick so that one's 
a cool tone color that I got. Okay, so that's what I do. And I think I'm going to go with cream blush because I want pink. So I'm going to go with another Makeup by Mario. Oh, it's so dirty, guys. I've had it for a while. And it's a perfect pink. And it looks like this. I haven't used it in a while, while. Oh, I think I'm going to use this powder brush. I need to get better brushes because I don't really have that many good brushes. And I want like a a foundation brush because I'm kind of tired of using a beauty blender or a whatever sponge. I kind of want to use um, a brush for like my cream stuff, you know, or like my foundation, my liquid stuff or liquid um, blush and all that kind of stuff. Oh, this one works pretty good. Okay. So, let's see. Let me set the concealer before it starts creasing. Okay, so I used a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And let me see, I'm going to use this old powder. I need a new one. I'm not going to set my face. I was going to set it with my one that I always use from Sephora. But I think today I'm just going to go straight to just putting the products and hopefully it doesn't crease. I doubt it, but today I'm going to use the uh, Lip Caramel Bronzer. I'm almost done with a lot of my products. I'm so happy that I, I was good about not spending more money on makeup like I used to. Oh my gosh. It just crease a little bit right here. You can't really feel it. Um, oh, I was going to say, um, oh my gosh, I forgot how this one's too, too pretty. Oh, guys, I messed up my makeup already. Oh, oh I should have just said it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm going to have to work with what we got. forgot to put my drops I'm gonna have to wait because my eyes have been so red lately I've been having really bad allergies okay so I'm just gonna use this one from Makeup Revolution in oh, blushy Hilo oh, I forgot because it's an old one so I don't know the name rust rust off rubbed rubbed off <laughs> It's too harsh. Oh well. Okay. I'm going to use this old highlighter from MAC. Oh my gosh, I really don't let my concealer, I mean my powder set, I mean stay, I don't really bake, but I don't like to let me bake this time. But I mean, maybe my face won't look too dry because I use a lot of moisturizing um, products before, so I should be fine. And the foundation is uh, very good, dewy. More of a satin, I would say, because I'm not that dewy. I think it's gonna be 
thing but Legs get so oily when I don't set them with powder. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back with the same. Sorry, you guys, this video might be long, I'm not sure. But, um, I don't have my other blush wet. Let Like lost every oh this right here so i'm gonna try to go with a little bit because it's so pigmented i think it is too hard this blush is too harsh it's like already so pigmented and then like it doesn't i don't know how to blend it good with this brush because it literally stays wherever you put it in a way like It is thinner, but oh well. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit of um eyeshadow. Okay, we're just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna use. Oh, I haven't used this, this one in a while. I'll use this one from Glossy Wear and the some monochromes and ugh, the name rubs off but i'm wearing pink so i don't know no maybe i'll just go with another product from makeup by mario and i'll just go with my usual these two the top one and this one so you can hear my son with his little cough and he was like i don't know he's been getting sick so much like all of us so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end up getting sick but it's like we're constantly getting sick now and we just never get sick which sucks For eyebrows, I use the same first. I'm gonna use, even though there's like nothing in there, just to see like if it does at least a little something. My brush is kind of dirty. I see if he needs help, help him, please. I'm gonna use um, this dark color right here for my eyebrows. And I've been liking uh, this powder, oh, well, this eyeshadow palette for an everyday thing, as you can see. And I like to use it for my eyebrows. You know, I don't really have eyebrows, but it makes a difference adding this on my eyebrows. I used to use pomade, and I feel like that was too harsh because I don't know how to do eyebrows. So I would look like a clown. And I'm not saying that this is like better, but in a way it is because it's less harsh. For someone like me that doesn't have eyebrows and doesn't know how to do eyebrows <laughs> and i've been doing my makeup for a long time and i'm still not the best at it so i don't claim to be this makeup pro at all i do it just for fun and i just enjoy it that's all i do and then i'm gonna put some um 
mascara underneath or the bottom lashes and like I've been saying this is the wrong color even though I can't really tell that much but it's a dark blackish brown and I meant to get a very black mascara because I love like like the blackest black of mascara and I got the wrong shade so I've been using it and then I top it up top it off with this other one a cheapie that I got on Ross because it's black but that one's not waterproof because I always have to have waterproof that one's not waterproof but this one is so I just put it on top just so it can make it a little darker but Can you help them, please? Okay, I'm gonna go help them a little bit, so let me just hurry up. I don't even know how to play this game. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna use this LA Girl lip liner, even though it's not as pigmented as I wish it was. Okay, so after this lip liner, I think I'm going to use this. This is a peachy color, so I might add a peachy with the pink. So I'm just going to add these lighter colors. So I found these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So always try to look for them because they're good deals, you know. This is the Jaclyn Hill Truth. Truth. And this is a very, like, peachy color. kind of looks pink, but it's very, very light peach. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go with I think pure Hollywood and then top it off with naked so it's a little lighter and then I'll be back. I'll just do it with you guys. So I'm just gonna go with pure Hollywood and just I thought this is one because I lost the nail. And I these are the ones I glue on myself and I, I put the polish and I do all that. I do not go to a nail salon no more. I wish I did, but it's just too expensive. Okay. So then after Pure Hollywood, I go with Naked. It's a super light shade. And I'm going to tap it again. Just put a little tiny bit like that. Blend it all over so it look funny. Like this, but I don't want to do this because then it's harder with nails. And this one doesn't have nails. So. Okay, and that's it. And then I have not used this in a while, but I'm gonna go with my Mac uh, face cloth, like a matte one. And I don't like how it sprays anymore because it's not even. But I'm just gonna have to do it. You have to shake it really good. Ooh, it just hurts too much. The beginning is horrible. So I hope it didn't mess up my makeup. It's like literally a lot in one section, and then after a few sprays, then it goes every, like smooth. 
sucks. So we'll see how it looks at the end, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, oh, and I got this at Ross. I don't know. No, I got this one. I think yeah, TJ Maxx. A while ago, I still have some, and then I found another one at Ross. I'm glad I'm able to stock up on these, on these because I need them big time. So I'm always using makeup. Um, I'm going to put this brush away. I'll get another little brush to brush my lashes. I'm going to have to go try to hit my son with the drink. Older sometimes helps them, but God. Okay. Oh man, um, once this sets, I'm gonna come back, show you what I'm wearing. Nothing special. And um, uh, I'll show you the perfumes I'm gonna use today. And yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you real quick what I'm using today. These are the nine dollar sweats, which are so nice. This is like so my style. For only nine dollars they're super super soft this one's a crop top from ross for nine dollars so they're nine dollars each ross and um burlington i meant burlington and ross and okay now i'm going to show you the perfumes that i'm going to use today i'm going to use actually i'm going to mix three of them because two of them are like basically the same thing but one is stronger than the other one and one is sweeter so that's why i'm gonna mix them but i'm gonna go first with um this one and some goals from latafa if you know you know this is my favorite one so it smells like marshmallows very powdery and addicting and sweet so sorry my son was crying so this one, and then I'm going to add the other one that smells literally the same, but less sweeter, and but it's more, like, it's stronger. So this one's from Dossier, and it's Floral Marshmallow, and if you know, these are supposed to be dupes to Hellion um, Love Don't Be Shy, and you know, that perfume was like almost $300 for just a 1.7 fluid ounce, so... That's too much for me. So these are very affordable. So they're very good um, dupes to them, to it. And as you know, I use this one a lot. So yeah, recommend if you love a very fluffy, uh, sweet marshmallow, a little powdery and deliciousness. It smells like fruity pebbles. You would love this. And I'm going to end it with my new baby. I'm already obsessed with it. I just got it like maybe two weekends ago. But I'm obsessed. And it's a Kaoli Vanilla 28. Oh my gosh, guys. This is one of the most amazing vanillas out there. It's addicting, intoxicating. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love this stuff. Look how beautiful the bottle is. I'm obsessed. And you can mix this. This is a good layering perfume. You can mix it with so many perfumes. I, I mixed it with my YSL Libre Intense. I mixed it with, um, what was the other one? One from La Tafa. I forgot the name of it, but yeah. But I knew, knew, anyways, guys, my husband's calling me, so I'm going to let you guys go. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.